International Travelers Program was instituted here years ago, and it really is here to build international mindedness and teach students about other cultures so that they can learn about the languages, the culture, the animals, the food, everything, the music, taking a deep dive into a culture and immersing ourselves in a culture for a week or so. So we're learning about the dances, the music, the singing, everything that's involved in South African culture during this week. It gives students an, a, a chance to learn something that they haven't, about another country that they hadn't learned before. Um, they've learned about their culture, we've learned about foods that they eat, animals that are there, uh, different tribes that have been in South Africa, their languages, different um, houses, you know, villages, different things like that. They, they, the kids have loved it, especially with the hands-on artwork that they are able to produce with that. Well, they're studying South Africa, and we feel that this ties in with their units, so it's something they're already studying. And as far as animal conservation, we feel like the kids learn a lot about the animals, but also it connects them more. Because they can learn about animals in books, of course, but we feel by bringing people and animals together, it brings them an extra connection. So they'll want to go on and protect and help conserve these animals that they don't very well, very often get to see. This is an albino python. She's about 12 feet long, about 50 pounds, maybe. Now I put her over my shoulders. This baby bush baby is an adult, full grown bush baby. The reason they call them bush babies is because the bush is like the jungles, the forest, the outback of Africa. So they have the bush and they make a sound. Our main, our main message is respect for the animals and just an understanding that like when I bring a snake out or another animal, they don't have to like the animal, but understanding that that animal's there for a reason. And uh, that, it's all, there's a balance out there and we can respect and appreciate animals uh, in, in their place and in their own way. I hope that my students become more globally minded, more um, culturally aware, and are able to be tolerant of all people, all races, and just be more well-rounded. International Travelers Week is great, and if you cannot take the students there, this is the next best thing, immersing them in that culture within your school, bringing them to a point where they can learn as much as they can learn about another country, and it's a wonderful thing.